thoughts and samples anyhow, just to show, to show what I've done. And hopefully we could, uh, can show you those kind of different stencils. And for through the day, um, I've um, been experimenting. I've used it before with just carrying Dutch phones, just so we could get um, a background. Um, and it's quite quick to do, you know, using scrub into screen printing. Because this, this drawing here was this, uh, a sketch I did. Um, just, just in my sketchbook, and that's when I um, was first introduced to it in the college because it was great because it's the one you can blow it up and expose it onto a screen, um, which is which is what, what I did. And then the background, that's the, that's the swiftness of it. You can get brilliant um, backgrounds really fast by just painting onto the screen, which you probably probably all done <laughs> and pulled the, the colour through. So that that's why I got into screen printing. <coughs> Then, would you, if you can set the screen, you would, just, would you do that all in one go? Yeah, um, blue, the back, the, yeah, that's right. Um, when you um, do it onto the screen, if you um, paint it on and make sure it all goes to the edge, and then that's why some bits are, are thin, because you know, it paints a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. And then as you put it through in one swift, swift go, you get ace little merges and things yeah. in, in between and stuff. So was that a photo stencil to start with, or a drawing to start with? It was a drawing, and then On made, the screen? Uh, no, this was a drawing onto, um, it was like, it, like acetate or tracing paper like that. Uh -huh. um, Exposed onto the screen. Yeah. And then onto, the, onto the emotion stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then put it onto. But you can actually, that's, um, I think we have got some drawing fluid here. And you can get drawing fluid by Dale around the system. Three people, they make a blue drawing fluid. So you can get brilliant painted lines, which you can just paint onto the screen. And then you can pull up a, it's the same idea as the photo emotion, but it's all water based. So it's like a brown colour. You can pull that up over the top, wash out where the blue ink is that you've drawn on the screen. Are you with me? So the ink, ink acts as a resistance. Yeah, to it. yeah. So it's like on, it. on like that, say for the brush or whatever you want. And then um, with the emulsion, you pull it up over the top when the blue's yeah. dry. Okay. When the blue's dry, pull it up. Uh, when it's dry, um, you put it into the, to the and you just wash it out, and where the blue lines are, oh, mm -hmm. you get this, you get these, you get it yeah. clear. Like so it's the same so as a photo so stencil. It's the same you? idea. Yeah. It depends, depends what you want, and because um, I've gone into doing it, it like this, I, yeah. I tend to just do it onto, onto stuff like that. You can use greaseproof paper. You don't have to use acetate. You can use greaseproof paper or whatever you want, tracing paper to draw on and stuff. Um, this is another way of just putting it through. Pull it, and that just shows you you can get quite good detail by painting the screen and uh, pulling the colour through. Can I just ask, do you paint the different colours on the screen, is it? Yeah. Mm. That's yeah, right. so there's just one screen there, that's what I'm mm. thinking. Mm. Yeah. You used a screen for that, a screen for that, a screen for no. red. Um, well, we have a go today, if you want, as well, um, to get backgrounds. This is a background where I just painted on um, with a brush. Um, I think we, we did that, we've done this before. I know it looks, that's why you get these kind of things here. It's just one screen. That's the view, that's what I, because I didn't have the access to get to these photos, sort of, you know, doing that. So when I first left college, I just used to paint on the screen and pull it through like that. But you can still adapt that with paper stencils and stuff as well. You could you could have blocked that out and painted on and let it dry and then do, do it again. But the actual initial background of these was all one colour. These lines are where I've drawn, you know, when you draw on the back to get a monoprint, like, uh, you know, when you ink up a lino block, and mm. um, I've done that, and then I've drawn on the back of it to get those, those lines. So that was done just through, you know, just with a pen, or oh, with a pencil, <laughs> and it picks up all the detail like that. And this, this paper, um, the paper I used to use is um, it's a Japanese paper from Lawrence's. It's really good because it doesn't buckle as well. Mm. And I've got the catalog to tell you which one it is and stuff. It's great. What I wanted to show you is how much detail you can get from a paper. Mm. Expensive. It doesn't have to be all photographically mm. digitally done because I didn't have the facilities. Mm. But that's what I meant about it how it creates shadows in, in, in the surf. Mm. But, you know, and when you get wax. the flat, yeah, when okay. you get the flat areas and then you get the shapes and stuff as well, that's the nature of, of the screen printing. You get the drawn stencil. 
Um, but these, these are what I did with Health for, Hell for Girls last year, which were just simple paper. And I started using, you know, um, the paper, I brought some with me, that you put underneath floor, uh, underneath carpets. It's quite, I got it on a roll from being here and it's quite cheap. Mm. <laughs> but it's really, it's really quite good because it lasts quite a long time because sometimes paper runs out. It, you know, it wrinkles up and you, you mm. can't use it. But with this, you can get quite a few, a few runs out of it. And I just wanted to show you how de you know, detailed the, um, you can get it. And this is not textile ink. This, I just use the same ink that I print with the acrylic system 3 um, and it's just the, that combination of the drawn line and the flatness of the line, mm. that weird texture mm. that that comes out as well and you can print you can print through that um, so I don't know you see like that bit there mm. you think it won't come out but because it is so black it, so that you, don't, you don't always have to have a computer to print out and stuff on you don't have to have, have that you can then um, you can do, and that's the, that. It, that's what's worked quite well because it just shows you, you don't you don't really need a printer, mm -hmm. but I like having <laughs> being able to do <laughs> to do that. But you do need to be able to use the light thing. Yeah, and I need to come here and use that. Yeah. yeah, but you well you can roughly paint, but you can't do fine lines without that. No, I um, I find yeah I use that. What what started me off is we um, have we make tiles like this. Um, and we spray them, it's called, it's called Ongo, the white mm. is an Ongo, and it gives it a brighter base than the normal biscuit that you get there, because the glazes we put on need to be nice and colourful. And I just had, I just printed something, and I rubbed it on, I rubbed it, when I took some of the ink off, I rubbed it on here, and I thought it would, would come off, because it's just acrylic mm. um, stuff, but it, it hasn't done, and it's been outside and everything and stuff, mm. and it's actually stuck to, to this. Um, the background texture is a, is a mould we've got at work, but this has actually it's, it's stuck on. So that's what started me thinking about onto other materials and mm -hmm. stuff, and maybe combining that in my work. In my work. They're just, are they just best found? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So and, then, and then um, that, isn't, that hasn't been fired again, that's just raw acrylic. Yeah, because it's not been enough if you try exactly. to leave that. Yeah. 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 The, the funny thing was, though, the uh, masking fluid um, I tried, this, this was something I did. That hasn't burnt <coughs> completely, but, um, but that, that's another thing, another texture that I was trying to do as well. And then I started looking at um, rubbing my lino into the actual, because that's what I'll show you later with the paper. You get this brilliant, it's in here, this isn't fired yet, but um, you get like an embossed feeling mm. from a paper stencil. This is underneath the screen, and you just mm. push push it through, and it leaves that embossed thing. And I thought, well, you could, when it's fired, um, print with fine line, just raw on, onto it, like over there. I've used some of the um, some of the uh, what's it called? I've forgotten the name of it. It's the gloss. It's a gloss medium that you can mix with our normal medium. So. Um, I was getting the matty feel of my acrylic, and that's what I was doing, doing with that. And I thought that I'd try and look into that as well. Yeah, yeah. and that, that, that and looks like an extended, is it? And, and yeah, and you can get it more in. Um, yes, yes, it is on the back of my uh, <laughs> sketch of the shade, something like that. <clears throat> so you just keep smudging it until, but yeah, you can tape up the outside of it with.